Today we are learning how to manipulate the air element. Hi witches, welcome back. Today we are working on elemental magic some more. This is something that has been a request from a lot of you guys. So I decided to get my butt in gear <laughs> and start working on these. Y'all were asking me to do demonstrations of the things that I'm teaching, um, AKA magic on camera, which is daunting and a little weird. Rituals, I, I won't really do on camera. However, um, I can demonstrate how a spell is done and there have been exceptions. Okay, so we're doing air magic today. The air element is not my main element and also I'm filming a demonstration. So bear in mind that if nothing happens or if something crazy happens, I'm not going to edit it out, but it might not be super interesting and I definitely suggest doing this on your own. <laughs> Take this as an informative demonstration, please. And if I fail, consider it comedy. <laughs> um, so we're gonna get started. I have incense. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so that you can see what is actually happening here. So I've got incense. Okay, so we've got um, an incense burner and an incense stick. I'm just using sandalwood. It really doesn't matter what you use. So I'm just going to demonstrate a way that you can manipulate air in a controlled created environment like inside your home. If you can go outside and play with the breeze, that is ideal. Mm, I love sandalwood. Okay, I'll try and put this where y'all can see the smoke. So what we're going to do with the incense is we're going to focus on blowing it one direction or another. So you can either use the energy from your hand chakras or you can just use your mind. You can use your, you can do it with your eyes open or with your eyes closed, whatever works best for you. So I'm, first I'm going to demonstrate using my hand. So um, I'm gonna make sure that my whole body is aware of the energy that's flowing through it and that my hand chakras are awake and ready to go. And then I'm just going to put my hands um, near the smoke. And I'm gonna stop talking in a second so that I'm not breathing on the smoke, but I'm gonna put my hands near the smoke and then I'm going to focus on um, trying to get the smoke to blow one way and then all, and then getting it to blow a different way. Another way that you can do this is telepathically. Without using your hands, you can think to the smoke. Um, move this way or that way. You can use invocations, which I have some for the air element in um, my free ebook, which is in the description. I also talk a little bit about the air element in um, my elemental magic ebook. So something you want to do here is either Im is either focus on the air particles moving the moving around and taking the smoke with it going where you want it to go or you can actually think to the smoke move this way move that way and so on. It's really hard to focus and film a video at the same time. Um, how interesting. But 
but this is a fun one. Um, you do kind of want to make sure that you're not breathing directly into the smoke. You don't want to inhale it, and you also don't want to like blow it with your mouth instead of actually like moving it with your energy or with your mind. Remember that all of these practices take time. Um, there is, <laughs> you might get it on the first try, but you might not. It might take 10 tries. It might take regular daily practice. I just don't know what it'll be like for you. That's basically it. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me. If you have a method for manipulating air when you're practicing with incense, uh, tell us about it in the comment section below. It is good for us to learn and it's also good for the YouTube algorithm. I greatly appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, hit the bell button. And if you want to take priority with your video requests, consider supporting me on Patreon. I'd super appreciate it. Um, Real quick, I wanna give a shout out to my newest patron, Danny. Danny, this video is dedicated to you. Thank you so, so, so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. I hope that you have a blessed and beautiful day.